Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new tutorial from Conyus Arts. I'm Seanak Patwardhan and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the wiggle expression on individual properties of a layer in After Effects. So let's get started real quick. Now if you're a total beginner at After Effects and you have no idea what's a wiggle expression, I'll just explain it real quick. If you already know the expression, you can choose to skip this part. So the wiggle expression goes as follows, wiggle, open parentheses, value 1, comma, value 2, close parentheses. The first value is the frequency which is the number of times the layer wiggles in one second. This value is measured per second. And the second value is the amplitude. So it is the area or the distance in pixels that the layer moves across. All right, so once you're in After Effects, go to Composition, New Composition, 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS is cool, press OK. And I'm gonna create a solid by pressing Control Y or Command Y on my keyboard. And uh, by the default settings are fine. We have a black solid. And let's give this a quick gradient ramp. I'm going to swap the colors and change this to a radial ramp and I'm going to move this point right dead into the center and this one to one of the corners and I'm going to change this white to a very dark gray. So we have a nice subtle gradient here and uh, we don't really need this solid so I'm going to lock it and let's create a new shape layer. Circle is cool. Okay, go to ellipse. And for the path, I'm going to change the size to 200 by 200 and go to the transform and change the position to 0 and 0 so that the ellipse is nice and centered. Okay, our stage for the tutorial is set. Now let's start with the good stuff. If I press P on my keyboard, it reveals the position property of this layer. And if I Alt or Option click on the position, it opens up the expression area. This is where we type expressions. Let's remove the default expression here and type in wiggle open parentheses. Let's type in 5 comma 10 close parentheses and it's always a good habit to end an expression with a semicolon and press enter. By the way, the enter that I'm pressing is the numeric pad enter, not the enter on your main keyboard. The, if you press the enter on your main keyboard it'll just add a second line to this so you have to press enter on your numeric keypad or you can just press anywhere outside the expression area it does the same thing finalizes the expression now I'm gonna reduce the timeline to maybe 10 seconds let's preview the first three seconds so this is our wiggle expression that is applied on the position property of this layer this is nice and easy and quick now you'll notice that the layer wiggles in both the axes the wiggle expression by default applies on all the values in this particular array any property on a layer in after effects that is separated by a comma the one that you see here that's basically an array and we can use an array to apply expressions on individual values the way to write an array in expressions is to open with a square bracket and add commas to separate the values. Since we have two values, we'll separate them with a single comma. If we had three values, that would require two commas. So now this is being applied to both the axes. Let's change this so that uh, we can apply it only for the x-axis. So the y-axis remains constant and the x-axis will add the wiggle expression. So to do that, remove the semicolon, go to the beginning of this line, add a square bracket and add a zero in, in a square bracket. So this is where we are defining that this expression is being applied to the X value. This is value one and this is value two. I'm not going to go into the details of writing expressions, but basically this is zero, one. And if there were more values, they will start from They'll all start from zero. So X axis is always zero value. So zero, one, two, three, whatever. So that's what we are defining here. So this is zero. And for the Y, 
I'm just gonna type in value which basically means that I'm keeping the default value and I'm gonna add a one in a square bracket and I'm gonna add another square bracket to finalize the expression because that's this bracket we need to end it here and again a semicolon and enter preview this you will notice that it's wiggling only in the x-axis it's a little bit too subtle right now so let's change this to maybe 50 so now if you notice I can even increase the frequency of this to 10 so this is wiggling only in the x-axis I can even make it even more clear so 200 so there you go that is wiggling only in the x-axis now while this expression uh, works it doesn't really look neat so there's a way to remedy that I'm gonna go to the uh, beginning of this line and add a couple of lines here and I'm gonna define a variable here so let's go with a equal to I'm gonna cut this and paste it here and I'm just going to add an a before the zero this a is the same that we're defining here and I'm gonna also add a semicolon here press enter this basically does the same thing it just makes things look better now let's start separating the wiggles on different values but before we start there uh, with the next part I'm gonna delete this expression and I'm gonna change this layer to a 3d layer so now we have three values in the position property of this layer X Y and Z before we start with the next part I'm gonna add a new null here and I'm gonna rename this to expression cool and uh, go to effect and add expression control uh, go to expression control and add slider control and let's duplicate the slider control five more times so we get six sliders here now I'm gonna start renaming these sliders so this is going to be our X frequency this second one is going to be our X amplitude third one is going to be our Y frequency fourth one is going to be our Y amplitude fifth one is going to be our Z frequency and this is going to be our Z amplitude go to this layer and keyframe the position property again and before anything I'm going to go to the expressions layer and I'm gonna lock this layer so that even if we select other layers we still have these visible okay now let's start defining the variables so a is equal to wiggle open parentheses click on the pick whip and drag it to the first slider so this is our frequency press comma and again drag the pick whip to the second slider which is the X amplitude close parentheses and semicolon okay second line B is equal to wiggle open parentheses use the pick whip to link to the Y frequency comma Y amplitude or uh, close parentheses semicolon C is equal to wiggle open parentheses link to the frequency add a comma and the amplitude close the bracket close the parentheses and semicolon and let's write our expression now open with an array okay a zero comma b one comma c two semicolon and press enter on your numeric keypad to finalize this expression this makes things very easy if I change the frequency on my X to any non-zero value and the amplitude to any non-zero value and if I preview this my layer is wiggling only in the x-axis 
Now if I reset this x-axis and change the y values, it'll wiggle in the y values. It'll wiggle in the y-axis. And if I reset this, and before I can show you the z-axis, I'll need to add a camera here. So let's go ahead and create a camera. 35 millimeters, okay. And I'm gonna add another null here to, and I'm gonna rename this to cam control. Change this to a 3D layer and parent the camera to the camera control. And I'm gonna rotate this a little bit. So now I can show you the Z values. That is how we have successfully separated the wiggle expression in all three axes. Alright guys, that's the end of the tutorial. Like and share the video. Subscribe to Kanye's Arts. Follow me on other social networks too for exclusive stuff and updates. Links in the video description. And if you have any doubts or suggestions regarding the tutorial, you can post them in the comment section as well. Until the next time, Shaunak over and out.